This is not persuasive. The application is... Another blow for Boris Johnson as the October 31st deadline looms. The Speaker of the House denying a meaningful vote on his Brexit deal. Today's motion is in substance the same as Saturday's motion, and the House has decided the matter. Today's circumstances are in substance the same as Saturday's circumstances. My ruling is therefore that the motion will not be debated today as it would be repetitive and disorderly to do so. On Saturday, MPs voted to make support for the Brexit deal conditional on passage of the withdrawal agreement, the legislation to implement it. Johnson was forced to send a letter asking the EU for an extension, which he never signed. Now Parliament will have to debate the actual withdrawal agreement bill without having had the chance to approve the basic parameters. But that too is an uphill battle for the Prime Minister, as opposition MPs try to add on amendments, like a customs union with the EU and a referendum on the agreement, which could drag out the process further. Johnson says any further delay to Brexit will be harmful for Britain and the EU. But despite his determination to leave by the 31st, some analysts say the Prime Minister will find it difficult. It's an irritant for the government because the reason they were hoping to have a meaningful vote before tabling the withdrawal agreement bill is firstly um, because it's a legal requirement, but also because doing so would allow them to have a kind of up-down vote on the principles of the deal. And that would kind of allow them to sort of do a sort of show of strength. It would create momentum behind the deal and they would hope that their kind of fragile coalition in, in favour of the deal would be able to carry on throughout the legislative process. The House of Commons is set to vote on the withdrawal agreement bill on Tuesday. The result will be very close. But even if Boris Johnson gets the support that he needs, there's just over a week left before the UK is due to leave the European Union. Getting everything ratified in that short period of time is a tall order. EU leaders may grant a short technical extension if they feel like things are progressing here, but that's not 100% guaranteed. Catherine Stansel, Al Jazeera, London.